I personally, out of brother standing up here, I don't want the apology. I want the, I want the even to bow down and fear and tremble. Exactly. Pick up the dust from our feet. I want my wife to lift up the bottom of her foot. I want, the, I want the devils to lick the gum off of her soles of her feet. I want that elder to get his feet kissed. I want these brothers to get their feet kissed. I want the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man to wake up out of the sleep that he's in and take back his nation, his king. That's right. His possession of this earth through the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by some of our side. Huh. Right. And put these heathen where they're supposed to be in subjection. And then put this world where it's supposed to be in order, according to the Bible, yeah. according to the scriptures. Well, following, following what is God instead of doing what's wicked and what's right. You need to get Jacob on camera, man. Fuck that heathen. I like the man with him though. He was, he was honest as I don't know what, all the way up until that point. But we expected that. Somebody would be a proud for him to two through seven. He looked like somebody Mark, Mark, the dude that was just in there. It's all praises to the Most High God in the name of His Son. The world calls Jesus Christ. Around here every week, prophesying to this wicked nation, prophesying to our people, letting them know what's going to happen to this place and what they need to do to escape the judgments and about our downfalls and about where we can improve and do better and hopefully see some salvation from this damn place. Bring it up. Proverbs chapter 1, verses 2 and 7. The book of Proverbs chapter 1, verse 2. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. So in order to know wisdom and perceive the words of understanding. And judgment, uh, to receive the to know wisdom and instruction, to receive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity, to give satiety to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion, the wise man will hear and will increase learning. So in order to obtain all the above, the wise man will listen and he will, he will increase learning. He will keep asking questions. He will write down the definitions and the answers. And he will study. He will he will pursue after that wisdom, after that knowledge like a woman. Right? After the woman that he want to put a ring on. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. To understand a proverb and their interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. Verse 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. The problem that you wicked ass blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you, 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 you wicked ass people, that the Most High God exalted above all the earth. The problem with you is that you don't want to hearken in the wise saying. You don't want to pursue knowledge. You don't want to study. You don't want to know what's right. You just want to just want to pursue wickedness and foolishness all the days of your life till you die with a smiley face on leaving your family broke with no inheritance leaving your children without any knowledge on how they can run and teach the next generation that's all you want to damn do and that is the reason why we fall today go ahead actually uh, drop that drop that we got that Deuteronomy 5 and 33 come on Deuteronomy 6 by this is Deuteronomy 5 and 33 Ye shall walk in all the ways which the Lord your God hath commanded you, that ye may live, and that it may be well with you, that ye may prolong your days in the land which ye shall possess. And we were supposed to do these laws, statutes, commandments, so that we can prolong our days. We're doing the opposite, so we're dying at what, 50? Like we don't live the full life. You know what I'm saying? We're not doing anything to further our people. Go ahead. Let it on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to 
Muhammad Babu Kasha. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 6. Keep them and do them for them. Keep them, keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. So like we talked about last week, remember them and do them because this is what's going to make you wise in the sight of the nation. This is what's going to make it so that the so-called white man, the so-called Indian man, the Chinese man, the Japanese man ain't looking at you like you're a damn fool in the streets, right? Go ahead. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Which is why on a micro level when they see us on these street corners prophesying and they do dare to come challenge us, they get confounded and they think, damn, these people are wise. Right? And when we're able to break down these laws, these statutes and commandments and the benefits of keeping them, they think, damn, these people are wise. And, and what better thing than to be the wisest people on the face of the earth? Uh, imagine if you knew what to do with yourself and when. You wouldn't be at the bottom of the barrel now. So let's think on how to obtain that power again. It's, it's by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, because that's what the beginning of wisdom is. For what nation is there so great who have God so nigh unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we can call upon him for? Call him for? And what nation is so great? They don't know right from wrong without you even now in this state of wickedness that you're in. They still look at you answers on the test. They still looking at you for the cheat codes. The only difference is right now you don't have the real answers. So what if you do get the right answers? What if you do come back in the possession of what has belonged to you from the beginning? Right. And what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Only say ye to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thy eyes have seen. Keep your, keep your conscience, keep your conscience intact diligently. Keep the laws that you can have in your heart, right? And don't fall off from keeping them so you can stay on top. But it's too late for that. We done fell off. Now we got to come back up. We got to get the laws that you can have We got to start to meditate on them day and night so that we can climb back up that ladder and so that the most high bless us again. Yeah. And let's die depart from thy heart all the days of thy life, but teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. And we gotta not only keep them in mind so we can walk in them, but so when we have children, we can teach our sons and our sons' sons. So we can create generation after generation of righteousness on the earth. Right? We need to come back to our book and put down these goddamn Qurans, putting down the book of... What's the book of Buddha called? Does he even have a book? Yeah, that's just word of mouth. I don't know. Put down the Buddha. Put down, uh, what else is out there? Put down, definitely put down Kemet, you know, you sodomite Kemetians. Put that down to pick up the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. That's right. That's right. And, and, and get some damn power of God. Get some damn, ain't you tired of being weak? In Kemet, you're weak. In Islam, you're weak. You're laughed at by the damn Muslims. They don't respect you. Israel don't give a goddamn about your plight. You know, Buddha don't give a damn about you. Yeah. Especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in Oreb, when the Lord said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. Drop that. Bring that out in Jeremiah. It's Jeremiah 4.22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. But now, now, instead of being the wisest nation with the, with the best laws and statutes and commandments, we're looked at as the foolish people. We are foolish. We are lacking knowledge. We are being destroyed because of that foolishness, because of that lack of knowledge. Go ahead. They are sottish children. We're dumbass children because we didn't keep the laws, statutes, and commandments in our conscience, on our minds, and, and in front of us when we do uh, what we got to do to do that. Go ahead. Huh. They have none understanding. We don't understand because we're going to Kimmy. We don't understand because we're going to Allah, which just means power in general. A penny can be Allah, for God's sakes. So because you succumb to, to the obscure and homeless gods of this earth, 
You're stupid. You're Saudi's children. Go ahead. They are wise to do evil. And you're only wise to do evil because these idols don't teach you to do anything good. But what you feel like doing, go ahead. But to do good, they have no knowledge. They don't have, you don't have knowledge to do any good. You pick up the Bible, you don't read the Bible, and then believe in the blood of Jesus. You don't do a goddamn thing with the blood of Jesus. But spitting. Is that it on that? That's it. And then over to the Actually, actually. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 2. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The Most High God nourished us and brought us up out of the land of Egypt. We rebelled against him from day one. From day damn one. Go ahead. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's friend. Even the dumbest owner, the dumbest animals know where they belong. But we, go ahead. But Israel doeth not know my people doeth not consider. But we don't know or consider. We don't consider that we might not just be black, that we might not just be niggers, that we might not just be Mexicans, that we might not come from somewhere greater. We think it's just supposed to keep going the way it's been. And that it's all good. Because what do we got? We got the drink, we got the smoke. And that's, and that's just good enough for us. We live in that Akuna Matata life, right? As soon as, as soon as Simba uh, left his righteousness, as soon as he left his birthright and, and started to succumb to the ideologies of the nations round about that didn't have no goddamn inheritance, he started to think what? He started to think nothing mattered. But we need to come back into that lion mentality. We gotta start to realize that there's something in being the sons and daughters of the Most High God, Yahweh. Right? We just ain't any goddamn body in the circle of life. We got to remember who you are. Yeah. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they anger, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. We provoked our father to anger with idolatry, which is spiritual boredom, go ahead. They are going away. Backward. We're going backward when you start going after Kemet, right? Because we left Egypt. Why we want to go back to Egypt? We came out of Babylon. We want to go back to Babylon. Why you want to go back to confusion? Right? You want to become uncircumcised. That's going backward. We're supposed to be moving forward and we're supposed to be moving this whole damn world forward in righteousness. That's right. Right? But you want to give up your birthright. Kuna Matata. No worries for the rest of your days. And you want to get hypertension. You want to not be able to afford your damn medication for the illnesses that you brought on your damn self. You want to die early because you mess with somebody's life. Right? You want to you want to go into debt because you don't you don't care about supporting yourself wisely. You don't give a damn about supporting your brother and creating the community that can uh, nurture itself. But you like being the tip. You like being lended to and not being the damn lender. Because you don't realize that you're worth any goddamn thing. And to tell you the truth, you're not unless you pick up these laws, statutes, and commandments. That's why the Bible says that if salt loses its savor, wherewith can it be salty? Well, we're supposed to be the salt of the damn earth. So what we just on the shelf going on the waste because we ain't got no flavor? Man. First, uh, first five. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will be brought more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint. So it's to the point where the Most High said, "Why should I even chastise you anymore with your hard headed ass? Because you only gonna buck up against me. You keep getting whipped. You keep getting put on on punishment, and you keep on backbiting. You keep on doing the same damn things again and again, and getting back into trouble." So the most high God saying you only gonna revolt more and more. You only gonna keep going damn backwards. And at the state that you in, you so called black man, you ain't got but a day left in dog's ears if you keep doing this same wickedness that you keep on doing. But good news. Um, somebody give me Isaiah 40, uh, 64. Isaiah 64. 
The book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 1. Bring it out. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good things unto the meek. You remember when Jesus Christ, who they so called, read this out of the book of Isaiah about the gospel? That was set in the motion, that good news that was put into play. Right, go ahead. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and he opened, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. We're in prison, we're bound, we're brokenhearted because of our own doing, right? Because of the wickedness that we did. But the most high God sent his son to reverse the curse. Right? Go ahead. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. The day when we get delivered from out of the hand of all that hate us and the day that we get to put back on high. Right? We get uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 1 in my book of Psalms. Weird ass, eat a bite, man. I look around and I just cannot believe still that I'm a uh, captain to these people, man. Weak ass, man. Weak ass, man. It's Deuteronomy 30 and 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee. And shall return unto the Lord thy God, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. So what's this talking about? It's talking about repentance. So once we recall everything we've been through and why, and make that repentance so we can come out of it, go ahead. Thou and thy children, with all thine heart. And teach our children what's going on, go ahead. And with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity, and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee. From all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. And God damn it, that's all I want is for the Most High God to turn the captivity. That's right. To turn it off. Turn it off for us. Turn it off for us. Turn it on to the heathens. Go ahead. If any of thine be driven into the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence will He fetch thee. I want Him to grab us from wherever we at. Go ahead. Come. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And I want to go to the land that our fathers possessed and be multiplied above our fathers. Not, not dwindling away like a little flame about to go out in this wicked ass kingdom. Go ahead. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to the love of the Lord thy God with all thy heart. And I want to obey the most high God's laws so that I can possess power and keep power through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. To love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and all thy soul that thou mayest live. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies. And I want to live because this ain't living. It's going to be living when I can kick my feet up and put the whip to the back of the oppressor that oppressed me. God. That oppressed my foremothers and my forefathers. God. My brothers and my sisters. God. That's living. And becoming the lender. Not the lending. Being able to love my brothers and my sisters. Go on vacations. It's the privileges that you get to take advantage of. Off the blood, sweat, and tears of a whole nother nation. Go ahead. Gone. And on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And he's going to turn the curses on these fat bitches that walk up and down the street in their men. That let them gad abroad like wild animals. On these homosexual men, these pedophile men that prey on innocent children. When that gets extinguished, 
and righteousness gets exalted above all things, that's when we can live. But this ain't living. Going to work all week or hunting for a job all week just so that I can keep being broke. Just so that I can not have nothing to let my brother borrow when he needs money. Just so I can worry about if my wife is pregnant or not. Instead of being able to simply just rejoice without worrying about the troubles in this world. And what pedophile white man is lurking around the corner. Who I'm living next door to. Who got the white glasses on. Go ahead. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of Yahweh and all his commandments which I command thee this I wanna, day. I want to return and obey the voice of Yahweh. And I want to do that for the rest of my life without worrying about these things. But we cannot get that. I cannot get that without turning my mind, without transforming my mind and submitting to the will of the Most High God. And we cannot go any goddamn where as a people until we as a nation do this. To do it.